I have to do a glass that see through and at the same time you can walk over. I'm actually quite fearful of it. <laughs> so far, I've not stepped onto it. <laughs> Welcome to our comfort zone. My name is Kelvin. I'm the founder of Space Sand Studio. So this is my wife, Yvonne. Actually, we bought this house in 2018 because of its location. Actually, one of the criteria that we have is that the house has to be in its original state. So it was built in the 1950s. Because the place was already 70 years old, nothing can be kept except for the structure. So we tear down everything, all the walls, put in new finishing, and reconfigure some of the areas like the change up of living room and the bathroom. Actually, my design narrative for the place is to design a different concept for each level of space using the monochromatic palette. The reason is because I just want to give each space a, a different feel so that when anyone comes in, you know, they can feel the place differently. So level one is a communal space. This is a place where I entertain and when I meet my client. The theme for this level is black. So it symbolizes bold, masculine, and a little bit more classy feel. This floor also is very heavily textured. Like for example, the floor we use charcoal color, burnt wood kind of flooring, and you can see there is wood strip on the wall. There is marble texture in the kitchen, and there is also like a, a wall panel that is made of felt. Actually, the whole facade is clad with bricks. From the outside, I kind of like the gate the most uh, because it's origami inspired, three-dimensional kind of uh, gate. Strangely, for this house, they have two entrances. The front is actually smaller than the back. So when I bought this place, after some consideration, I decided to do the switch to have the back becomes the front and the front becomes the back. The entire renovation took about 600 days. So overall, we spent about 400 to 450,000 for the renovation and the furniture that we, we, we bought. So there is a lot of place that I like in this house, but one particular one is the area under the skylight. This is the sky roof, I think. This is where we can actually house our family members and friends. The day view is actually very different feel. Sun's favourite, um, I think is I, I, I don't know what's that called. Our oh, walking glass. So okay. the view is fun to actually look through the floor, the glass floor. Yeah. So I wanted to give more space to the loft. So in order to achieve both, I have to do a glass that see through and at the same time you can walk over. Uh, I'm actually quite fearful of it. <laughs> So far, I've not stepped onto it. <laughs> so the loft is actually a personal space where we spend our night. The loft is a more cozy feel where you can see the whole roof is clad with wood finish. I think um, he did a good job. I cannot complain more. <laughs> so for this house, there's, there's quite a number of detailing that I like. So the first one is the fireplace that I created. Although Singapore weather doesn't allow, but it just create a visual, create an illusion that you are actually you know, sitting around a very comfortable, cozy place. Okay, so the staircase that leads up to the loft, I call it a paper tin staircase. So it is using uh, metal sheets to bend it. To give it a bit more support, I actually designed the railing to make it look like it is a railing, but then at the same time, it supports the whole entire staircase. So I feel home insurance is important because it provides a financial safety net for your losses. So for example, when a fire occurs, the home insurance will provide an alternate lodging while they are reinstating the place. So this acts as the financial relief for, for us because um, you know, we wouldn't have backup plans and you know, resources to go to. I mean, of course, not only in financial aspects, but you build a house with love. So um, this is important to, to be the, the, the home ground for us, yeah. I would say this house is one of the best that I have designed. Of course, I hope that, you know, to make the house a, a little bit bigger if possible. But then that was just like a, a dream. Lah. So right now, I'm contented with what I have.